Hit Film Sensei here. Today, we're going to do a Q&A. First question. Magic asks, hey, would you make a video Q&A? Next question. On the Introducing HitFilm Pro 2017 video, Film Empire asks, is the lavalier mic new? Your audio has definitely improved. It's not new. I've had this lavalier mic for a long time, and I've also had this Zoom H1 recorder for a long time. But here's the thing. I haven't been using them. But I, the, what happened was I got a bunch of feedback saying, you know, I love your videos, but your sound, the sound part of your video, they stink. So I'm like, you know, you're right. I probably ought to fix that. So I started syncing up and using it. And I'll tell you, in the HitFilm 2017 Pro version, they have this automatic sync thing. Oh, it's so fantastic. I can't tell you how wonderful it is. Next question. Book Review Zolo asks, do you know how to animate it? Uh, actually, the question is in relationship to the Instant Universe video where I make a static you know, setting for an instant universe? And the answer is yes, you can animate it, uh, but you have to be careful. You can't go too far, but you can make that planet rotate a little bit. You can have the moon moving in the background or even the stars, whatever. So yeah, you can animate it, but you can't go too far. Magic asks, I have a question for you. Why and when did you go into filmmaking? Well, that's a good question. As you know, I teach karate for a living. I'm a full-time professional karate instructor, and I have been for about 27 years now. Uh, and I have lots of friends in the industry, lots of people I know who teach karate also. Uh, and so I have a really good friend of mine, and on his karate school's Facebook page, uh, there were these pictures one day of kids dressed up in suits and ties and dresses and stuff. They were getting out of limousine. Uh, they were being interviewed like a red carpet style, and they were going into a theater. And I said, you know, man, what is that? So I gave him a call, and I said, what, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, you know, it's this great idea. See, I had this two-day camp where the first day I taught the kids how to, you know, choreograph their own fight scenes, or pow, you know, and snap their head and stuff like that. Uh, and then the second day, we filmed an entire short movie, you know, an action film. And then I put it together on my computer. And uh, then I took it down to the theater and gave it to them. And I ran in a limousine and had those kids, uh, you know, ride in that limousine down there to the theater, get out, do the red carpet interviews. All their friends and family and neighbors and stuff are cheering them. And then they go in and watch this film on this big screen. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm ashamed I didn't come up with this idea myself. So like most of my great ideas, I stole it and I started doing that. So I've made uh, six films now and I'm getting ready to do a seventh one with my kids in my karate school. And it's the most fun you'll ever have. I'm telling you, it's just great. But it spurred something in me. And so the first couple of times, uh, you know, I just made basic things, no special effects, just cut it together in a piece of software and went with that. But then my third film, I was like, you know, man, really be cool if I could do this one effect, you know, it's really be neat for this film. So I started looking online to find that and I found Rody Polis's website uh, and it talked exactly how to use or to do that video effect that I wanted to do with this software called HitFilm. And I was like, well, what's that? I don't know. So I ended up downloading it and buying it. It was HitFilm 2 Ultimate. And then I was able to do that and I fell in love with the software. And so then I bought HitFilm 3 Pro and HitFilm 4 Pro and now I own HitFilm Pro 2017. Uh, and I'm still making those. And But something spurred inside of me. I said, man, this is really cool. I really like this. Uh, and so then I decided to make the HitFilm Sensei channel. Next question. On the Introducing HitFilm Pro 2017 video, Data Design asks, does this mean all your videos will be for the Pro version? We are mostly Express users who can't afford to buy the Pro version. The answer to your question, short answer, is no. Uh, just because I own the video or the software and I really, really like it doesn't mean I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on it. I will do some and they'll be kind of side videos, sort of like this one, but my standard every Friday video will be uh, basically on the mold of three tiers. One, it'll be Express versions. Two, it'll be really geared towards beginners. And three, it'll be short. Out of the 26 tutorial videos that I've done so far, 16 of them are under five minutes long. And that's my goal, to keep everything under five minutes. 
Uh, and you know, I hate it when you get online, you start looking at YouTube videos and the next thing you know, you have this 15 minute video on something really simple that could have been done in three minutes, but the guy keeps rambling on and on. You're like, dude, just get to it. Kind of like what I'm doing now. So we're going to move on. Next question. Film Empire asks, what do you think of mine? Actually, he's asking about his short film that he made in hit film. And actually, I really enjoyed it. Next question. On the Star Trek Transporter video, Data Design asks, nice uniform. Where did it come from? Came from Starfleet. No, I'm kidding. Actually, my wife and I, several years ago, way back, maybe over 15 years ago, uh, went to Las Vegas for a martial arts convention. And while we were there, we went to the Hilton, which is down on the end of the Strip, and they had, at that time, the Star Trek experience. And the Star Trek experience was really cool. We went through that, we ate in Quark's Bar, and we went to the gift shop, and I saw this uniform. I thought, man, I gotta own a Star Trek captain's uniform because you never know when you're gonna need one. And I have used that uniform uh, hundreds of times for, uh, you know, for Halloween, for costume parties, all kinds of different things. Uh, so when I decided to do the Star Trek transporter video, I said, man, I got, I got the perfect uniform for that. <laughs> Last question. Tony C says, I like your positive approach in your tutorials. It should help beginners feel more comfortable in what would seem overwhelming. Well, thanks. Am I mistaken or do you have another YouTube account under a similar name? Yes, I do. Uh, I have a YouTube account for my karate school and I have a personal YouTube account, which I've had both of them for years. Uh, and for a while I was using my personal YouTube account to do my hit film stuff. But then when I created the hit film sensei channel, I create a YouTube channel just for that. And that's what I use now. So thanks for all the questions. They were kind of accumulated over several months, uh, but I would like to do this Q&A regularly. Uh, if you don't like Q&As, I understand that. It's okay, you don't have to watch them, uh, but I think it'd be fun just to do. So if you have a question, definitely let me know. Uh, the easiest way to do that would be to send me an email at hintfilmsensei at gmail.com, or you can drop it in the comments section below, and I'll answer it on the next Q&A. And thanks for watching.